Hello, what are you doing in Brighton? Oh, you were waiting round from the last episode when I was at the fish and chip shop. Don't worry, I can take you back because in today's vlog, my friends, I'm going to take my electric Porsche Taycan all the way from here in Brighton back up to Leeds. Now, it's half past one in the afternoon and it says it's going to take about four and a half hours. However, however, it's about 250 miles there and I've only got roughly 136 miles of range left in my car and about 54% of battery charge. Give or take, I'm doing that from memory. Um, so we're going to have to stop along the way and charge. It'll give you a little idea of how much time it adds onto a journey uh, compared to an internal combustion car because if you've seen other videos of mine it's an absolute nightmare and you'll also know that I don't like electric cars. I don't believe that they're the future. I don't think they're, I, I think it's all a bit of a scam. I think it's all a bit of a, I don't know. There's a lot more to it. We're not going to go into that. I've, I've mentioned that before. We're going to have a drive up to Leeds. I'm going to take you guys with me. If you're new to the channel, by the way, do hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And uh, beautiful place, Brighton, I have to say. Without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, okay, I'm going to be in trouble actually because it says on here, on Waze, uh, it's going to take 5 hours 39 minutes to get there. Estimated time of arrival, 7.16, which is roughly when the children go to bed and I said I would be back. I've got 54% of charge, 136 miles of range. So I'm going to have to charge up and this, my friends, is where... I can, hang on a minute, wait a minute, all you EV clan, I can hear you already. This is where it's going to add to... I said, wait a minute. Just hang... Calm down a little minute. Right? Put your hand box away. It's going to add on about an hour to my journey, so I'm going to miss them going to bed. I know. I'm coming to it now. All right? You're going to say... I know what you're going to say. I should have charged up while I went to do what I was doing. However, the chargers were out of the way. I needed to charge... I needed to go off as well for about two or three hours and I can't leave my car charging because you can't leave it in a car put in a charging point so I couldn't it wasn't convenient to do that so there I, enough just leave it right there okay you're wasting my time I've got to get you're wasting more time than the actual electric cars do so and I shouldn't have got a Tesla don't stop telling me that 54% left let's get out of here get on the road and try and make up some time come on onwards my friends Right, so we're on the uh, M25 now. I've got another 47 miles to get to the M1. Uh, and the M1 takes you all the way up to Leeds. We've got 226 miles to go. And I've only got, um, I need to get over in this lane to overtake. Um, I've only got 92 miles of range left. Um, what I want to do this time though is not charge up until I get to about, well, below 20%, if possible. Um, because I know that all the evangelists, all the EV clan out there are going to say it'll charge quicker your battery will if you let it get lower. So we're going to go with what they say this time because I need to get back. Um, I've just rung Sarah uh, and I said oh it's like nearly five hours to get back and she went add on to that then with your silly car uh, and I was like yeah I'll try and be as quick as I possibly can. So um, that's what we're going to do. Um, like I say 91 uh, miles of range left so we'll just keep hitting the road and uh, we'll just keep going until uh, I'll try and get it there. It's always a worry though isn't it because you know you get it down to 20% or 10% how far away are you? And I know they're going to say you should use your mapping system but I have to be honest the Porsche mapping system on here uh, is next, next to useless basically. Um, there we go. I know Tesla owners 
Oh, it's brilliant on a Tesla. Anyway, enough of that, onwards. Now, if you're a regular to the channel, I do apologize. Probably going over old ground here a little bit, but um, I'm trying to make these videos, if you are new to the channel, uh, to guide you uh, in the right direction so that you don't make a mistake and do something that you, I well, I think you will regret because I think these electric cars are, it's just a pathetic, stupid idea. Um, that will not work and it isn't the future i've said it before and it's interesting because this part here is very interesting because i believe we're all being manipulated and pushed in a direction that we don't want to go herded like sheep basically and i believe the media has a lot to do with that for instance sky news they had a poll the other day um, I think somebody somebody emailed me this and said, oh, look at this. And they asked, they asked the general public, and apparently they said, which is probably not true, seven out of ten people that they asked said that they was going to get an electric car, an EV, for their next car. Seven out of ten people. Now, I can't verify that. Can they verify that? Because personally, I think if the media is telling people that and they want to get people on board to buy electric cars as well, because they're pushing people into it. If you hear that, oh, seven out of ten people, are, um, seven out of ten people are going to buy an electric car. Here, Maureen, um, I think we should have an electric car next, you know, because uh, seven out of ten, we don't, we don't want to be the odd one out. We want to keep up with everybody else. I don't believe that's true. I don't think there is se seven out of ten people. Let me ask you. I'll do a little. I'll, let's do a little poll in the comment section down below. Are you thinking? If you've already got an electric car, and don't answer it. Are you thinking of getting an electric car for your next vehicle? Pop it in the comment section down below, and let's see how many answers are yes, and how many. See how many no's we get as well. I don't buy it. I think everything, advertisements, commercials, newspaper adverts, That's magazine adverts, even, even on Top Gear, you'd got uh, the guy, I always forget his name, he's really good, you can pop it in the comment section, uh, the racing driver off of Top BBC's Top Gear said, and he commented and said, oh, you know, this is probably the last petrol that comes out of this, everything's going to be electric, but I'm okay with that, that's the future. And I thought, I... Do you actually believe Chris Harris? That's it. And he said, oh, yeah, I'm okay with that. I can't remember what which episode it was, but he said, yeah, I'm okay with it. It is the future and I'm okay with that. And I thought, are you saying that? Or is the BBC telling you to say that? So that it, so then you think, oh, well, they're, they're, everybody's being conditioned into thinking that EVs are the future and they're not. So if I can get one person, which I already, already have done, to not buy an EV, then I'm doing my job right. Because you can see here, it's stressful, it adds to the stress, it doesn't work, and they're gonna, you're gonna, I can see it in the car, I can see all your comments, you evangelists. Um, you should have done this, you should have done that, you didn't do this right. You know, it's adding to the pressure now of me getting back home to my family. It's just ridiculous, it's silly. Anyway, that's uh, my, I guess it's a rant, it's, it's just, it's more, I just I'm passionate about not people not making a mistake. Come on, onwards. Well, I say onwards, but we're on the M25 and it's not going anywhere. Estimated time in traffic, 25 minutes. Estimated time charging, probably about an hour. <laughs>
right, it's absolutely tipping it down now. I've got a banging headache. I'm, I'm tired already and I've got, uh, I've not even got off the M25 yet. Uh, blimey. 22% of battery left, 58 mile range. It is tipping it down and I'm thinking out now, oh no, I'm gonna get absolutely drenched charging the car up. Um, I'm gonna charge up as soon as I get on the, uh, can you see me? Oh, there we go, bridge. As soon as I get on the M1, I'm gonna put some charge in it because I don't wanna leave it any lower than 20%, 15%. Um, Cause I don't wanna get stranded because if the next service station I get to, it isn't working then you're stuffed so i'm gonna i'm gonna fill up i'm gonna charge up at uh, the first service station on the m1 and i've got another six and a half miles to go this is all undue stress you see but this is the reality of owning an ev and this is why i'm doing it because you get everybody doing all these ev youtube videos where they're all oh i did this and i did this i went from there to there and i had no problem at all yeah of course they didn't because nine times out of ten they're sponsored. I'm not. This is the reality. This is the true reality, my friends. But I should get home eventually. It says 10 past 7, but it'll be more like 10 past 8, 9 o'clock when I've messed around with charging. Anyway, always look on the bright side of life. Come on. <laughs>
or I'm going to have to try and get off at the next junction after and go looking for one round some village or whatever or town if the charges are taken up if there's only two of them uh, then I'm going to have to sit and wait for them so that's going to add on to the time of me actually charging as well so it might take an hour to charge the car but I might have to wait another 40 minutes for somebody to get off of them charge points so these are what people don't show you on other videos the actual reality of it they show you a they show you the you know the, them riding around and driving around on a beautiful sunny day and you know everything's perfect and uh, you know the, the kids are laughing in the back of the car when in in reality it's not it's not it's not it's not how it happens uh, if i in fact if i go anywhere with um, sarah james and harriet on a long journey sarah refuses to go in this car she says it's too stressful so we go in her um uh, in a diesel uh, Volkswagen Golf we go in that because it's just there's no stress it's, it's crazy this is the reality now I need to just concentrate because I've got to get the next service station I cannot miss it Toddington services I've just got to find where oh, they're over there so just bear with me oh come on please nobody be in them no oh please nobody be in them I've got to get back I've got to get back okay I think oh, I think we've got one Right, well, they've put these in a silly angle, really, because there's a car park there at an angle, and my car's too long, so he wouldn't be able to get out, so I've had to park in at an angle. But anyway, we're in luck because hopefully it's working. Right, let's turn this milk float off. 13% battery left. Right, the time now, make a note, 20 past four in the afternoon. Right, 20 past four. Come on. Right, let's get this in. Let's get charged. Come on. Verifying. It's a good start. We're off to a good start. And it's not raining. Preparing to charge. Still waiting. Setting up communication with the car. We're good, it's charging. Right, now then, wait there. If I want it fully charged, the battery will be charged at one minute past six tonight. So anyway, I'm going to go in for a coffee. It's now 4.24 and I'm at 13%. So remember that, make a note, take a note of how long this is taking to charge your car. Time taken out of your, valuable time taken out of your life when you could be with the family. Come on. Let's go get a coffee. Sell some tat in service stations. Anyway, cost the time. 
Right, well, it's now, I succumbed to the Krispy Kreme by the way, it's now quarter to five and I'm only at 35% charged. It's taking ages. I got one of them by the way. So uh, we've just got to wait around. It is going to be about an hour. Now don't forget, when I get to Leeds, I don't have a charger there. So sometime over the weekend, then I've got to go and charge again and probably in Starbucks and wait another 40 minutes so I can get to Mansfield to back to work next week. It's crackers. It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to eat this and I'll see you in a bit. Right, it's now five o'clock. We're at 56%, 143 miles. I've drank my coffee, I've had my donut, and I'm still waiting around. Yet this is the future. That's what you're being told. Don't believe it. Don't fall for it. It's lies. It's lies. So that was, uh, that was Sarah on the phone saying, when will you be back? Are you almost back? I said, no. Um, I said, I'm about another two and a half to three hours ago. She wasn't, ba basically she was not pleased, uh, but I said, I'm, there's nothing I can do because I'm charging, uh, you know. Uh, she's got some stew on in the slow cooker for me. Uh, luckily we haven't got a dog, otherwise dinner would be in the dog. And I said, I'd go in and, uh, Give the kids a kiss when uh, when I in bed when I get back but later on it'll probably be about nine o'clock. This is the reality, and nobody tells you about this. It's uh, they show you it all. They show you the good side of stuff, but they don't actually show you the reality. Please don't buy an electric car. Don't be like me. This is honestly, I've got a few months left on this lease, and I'm thinking now. I did have a look for uh, back to go back into a petrol car. I do like the way these drive, I've said. I love the way that they drive. You've got instant torque, I've always said that. Um, but it's just not practical, is it? It's all right as a shopping car or something, isn't it? If you want to go around. I mean, Sinclair, Sinclair got it right with his C5, but this, I mean, you could end up having a divorce. Right, 97% charged, 249 miles of range, uh, and uh, it's now 5.43. It's been roughly about an hour and 19 minutes. Uh, I don't know what this is going to cost me. Uh, I'll find out tomorrow, because when I went to the electric forecourt, that cost me £32.42 uh, to charge that day. So it isn't cheap. Uh, it's not cheaper at all. And you're going to say, you evangelists, um, you know, sat there 
eating your, uh, I don't know, lettuce and tofu. Are you going to say, oh, it's cheaper if you charge it home? It is, but you can't always charge it home. Anyway, I'm going to unplug this now, get on my way. As I say, 200, not, I should get back, but then I've got to charge again somewhere up there. So anyway, let's get this unplugged and get back in the car. I did go back in, got a monster energy drink for the way back. Uh, and nearly bought some of them yellow sunglasses driving at night that you basically throw away when you get back. Just complete garbage in there just to, to buy it. So you, get, you end up spending a fortune on garbage. Let's get this unplugged. Oh, right, let's get back on the road. Um, I don't know what it cost me because I don't, you have to scan a barcode, I've said before. And it doesn't actually tell you properly. It's a bit strange because I'm using Apple Pay. Um, so it should just come up on the screen, really. So GridServe, if you're watching, just put the price up on the screen rather than all this trendy, futuristic stuff. I want to know what I've spent. Anyway, what I'll do is, because by the time I'm editing this, I'll know the cost. So I'll put it there. That's what it cost me. It's there. The cost just down below. Right, I've got to get back on the road now. It's 5.47 in the afternoon. So that has took me... Oh, I've left the left charge port open. I've left the port open. Let's get, I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I am going to be in so much trouble when I get back. Um, I'm not going to get back now till about quarter to nine, 8.43, so you can probably say nine o'clock. Um, it's 160 miles to my destination. I've got 243 miles in their range now, uh, so I probably still won't have enough to get back to the office. But what a palaver, what an absolute palaver. And the governments think that this is the way forward. Honestly, I, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna have to, now I'm hitting rush hour as well. I, I feel like crying, to be honest. So I, I just wanna, I'm gonna miss my kids going to bed. It's just absolute madness crazy right come on onwards I don't think I've ever said that with I don't think I've ever said onwards with <laughs> like that before it's normally onwards my friends <sighs> whatever Oh, and um, by the way, Tesla owners, there was a Tesla next to me charging and uh, he was still charging when I left. So you may have a great network. It wasn't using a Tesla charger there, um, but it's the same scenario, isn't it? It's sat there waiting and he was sat in the car for, for must have been, oh, I don't know how many minutes, ages, sat in the car waiting with his wife or partner or whatever i mean can you see now the reality of ev ownership and what owning an electric car is like i'm sorry to keep banging on about it but i really feel strongly about people being pushed into this madness and if using my youtube channel to get that across is a way of doing it then I'll do it to show the reality until somebody until I get until I disappear and if I disappear and there are no more videos of full English breakfast or fish and chips or EV car videos then uh, I've been abducted by the EV clan <laughs> there we go I got me laughing again anyway come on how long we got now oh, I'm only another two hours 46 minutes <laughs> Hey, at least it wasn't raining. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it was quite nice actually. Bit of blue sky. Could have been worse. Come on, 
Onwards, my friends. Not sponsored, by the way. I normally don't drink that crap, but um, I'm trying to keep myself uh, awake, <laughs> just, just getting light. I don't like driving in the dark, particularly. Right, so I'm doing my bit uh, to try and stop the sales of EV and electric cars. Do your bit. Share it on social media, this video. Share it, tweet it to NBC, uh, Sky News, Sky Australia, wherever you are, HBO, tweet it to all, the, to, to all the news, Fox News, although they probably won't air it, because well, I'm not going into that, it's controversial. Um, just tweet it, share it on your Facebook, share it wherever you can. Uh, am I gonna? No, I'll pull into this lane. Share it wherever you can. Just get it shared all over social media. Let's make it go viral. If you know uh, somebody who's going to buy an electric car, send it to them. Send this video to them. Show people the harsh, cold, dark reality of electric cars. And let's stop all this glossiness and media hype about them. Anyway, I've cheered up a bit now. Oh, I think it's that. It's giving me a buzz. Right, come on, onwards. I don't think you're going to be able to see me. However, um, it's terrible weather. The visibility is really, really bad. Um, it's now, I've got another 106 miles to go um, and an hour and 54 minutes aquaplaning. Um, and I could have been pretty much back by now. Uh, it's 6.49 in the evening. So this, my friends, is the reality of EV ownership. This is now, it's, um, it's terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, I'm gonna have to concentrate, so <clears throat> this is, uh, I could have been back. Blimey. right thank you for staying with me i've literally just got back it's like the blair witch project again isn't it um i'm gonna be quick because harriet's waited up for me it's 8 40 uh p.m now uh, i've got uh, 37 percent left 89 miles of range now um i'm absolutely shattered uh, i don't think that's going to get me back to mansfield uh, to work on monday um i'll have to call by porsche and charge that up as you can see, uh, this is the reality of um, electric cars and the EV community at the moment. It's absolute madness. Um, as I said, I don't think it's the future. If it is the future, it's not right now because no matter how good these cars are, it's let down by the batteries. And the batteries at the moment are terrible. We all know batteries are terrible. James May said that and he's right. Um, so that's all from me today i'm absolutely shattered uh i'm gonna get in now and uh just <laughs> give h a uh, kiss and night and uh, that's it so thank you for watching give us a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one god i'm shattered good night